So when I say vegan, what kind of words come to mind? Kind, thoughtful, progressive. More liberal, hungry. Not a ton of words. Kind of loud, <laughs> a little bit. So you think know. vegans are loud, hungry liberals? Yeah. <laughs> I think of veganism as more like, a, you know, everyone thinks of it as like a diet, which is certainly a big part of it, but more like a, like a social justice movement for animals, sort of. Like trying to get animals' rights. Do you like animals? I love all the animals. Yeah. But also, cannibalism? Sure. Uh, do you eat humans? If I had to. Do you like animals? I love them. Do you like eating them or just loving yeah, I love both. I love, it depends. I love, um, I have, I have very large uh, dogs. I have multiple dogs and I love them. You love them? But I also, I, yeah, I've also volunteered on cattle auctions in my, oh, right. in my youth. So I am familiar with that style of what happens with animals. Do you think that animals should have rights to not be harmed by humans? Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. to it, yeah. I like, I don't uh, like obviously appreciate like the way that you'll see like um, cows like all in one just like stacked up next to each other. So like I, that makes me sad obviously and I yeah. don't appreciate that, but I eat meat. How bad do you think animal agriculture is for the animals on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst? Oh, that's rough though, because like I know people that treat their animals well. So it's hard to say, like, everybody's going to treat their animals like shit. How bad do you think the animals are treated, like, on a scale of 1 to 10 in the meat and dairy industries, 10 being the worst? To be honest, I don't know. Um, yeah. And I think it also kind of depends on different industries, right? Like, some maybe do, yeah, maybe are more ethical than others. Were those, like, kind of factory farms or kind of smaller farms? They were smaller, and uh, yeah. actually they've been phased out. They just don't, there's not a... Was, they, they're uh, not financially it, viable. It was a family member's cattle auction, and um, and I didn't work there very long. I only worked there like a week, but they, uh, you know, they you can't compete with like larger corporate. Yeah, I think that's something a lot of people don't really realize about the meat industry now is that um, these smaller farms have gone out of business because they can't compete with the factory farms. Maybe we could agree that like factory farms are probably the worst yeah, places right. for animals yeah. to be. So what percentage of meat and dairy do you think comes from factory farms in the U.S.? Probably, probably more than we think. 85, 90%. <laughs> so it's, it's actually 99%. Um, so it's pretty much like if you think factory farming is bad, then like it's almost like a, you know, a, like a guarantee essentially. Let's say that they do treat the animals well. Do you think there's like a humane way to kill an animal? I don't like the bullet one. What? I don't like the bullet one. It's just uh, called so like you know. living your life. Like I guess that's a humane way of killing animals. <laughs> so uh, would that involve allowing them to live their lives? That's what I'm saying, like gotcha. just like when they die. I did see a video recently of a cow and it was one of those like Facebook videos that moms share. <laughs> and it was a- uh, uh, It's all moms on Facebook these days. Yeah. And it was a cow um, hitting the ball with its head around its farm. Like a tether ball? Yeah, and I was like, oh, it's really nice. Yeah. But would that stop me from eating the same cow? It would really depend. Do you think that animals are like tortured in these industries? Or is that too strong of a word? No, no I remember the like, um, like the McDonald's. Yeah, that like... Super Size Me video where they showed what happened to like the chickens and stuff. Oh, I won't yeah. watch videos of like, it makes me too sad and I know that that's bad but I, I can't watch them. Are you vegan or? I tried. It's very difficult actually. Do you think it is? I do. Okay. Based off of uh, a lot of things honestly. Like uh, what have you tried and found to be difficult? I'm curious. Cheese. Cheese? Um, they have not, they're not good at like vegans. Sorry. You have not done a good job with cheese. There's better and better cheese coming out every day. Every day, yeah. I mean, I've tried some vegan cheese that I really do like. The Miyoko's like spreadable cheeses yeah. are really good. I make my own. If you've tried cashew cheese. I make my own and it doesn't taste as good as cheese. Well, I'll give you my recipe. <laughs> if you don't want to watch it, do you think it's fair to pay for animals to like go through it? I don't eat a ton of meat, and I talk about actually frequently that if I could get protein enough from other places, I would, but it's as a college student, it's not sustainable for my budget and honestly my lifestyle in general when I'm getting food from like my parents who will make it for me or like I'll go to my grandma's all open and she she cooks me and just uh, wherever, yeah, it's just not sustainable for me, but I wish that I wouldn't have to. Would you eat a dog? No. Why not? Because I've never had dog. If I didn't grow up eating dogs, it, uh, then I would, you know, 
So it's like a cultural thing. Potentially. I mean, I, I don't think a dog would taste good. Do you think that it's more expensive to be vegan? I'm sure that Probably there are ways not. around yeah. that, but yeah. it seems like you would. Honestly, it's a time thing for me as well. Like mm -hmm. I like to. First of all, I haven't yeah. taken the time to research all of that. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't think most people have. Yeah. 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 But um, also, I just yeah. I don't even know where I would start with that. But again, I also am like her. I don't eat a ton of meat either. Do you know why vegans don't consume cheese? Like, do you know anything about the dairy industry? The byproduct. It, well, yeah, the dairy. All industry. If you have to put industry behind it not a good thing. But even if you didn't say industry, like just like the process of getting milk from a cow? Yeah, they're all bred like to get milked. Yeah, yeah, they're like a uh, room for like days and you just gotta shoot shit out of your teat. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess the thing that uh, that I find the most concerning about dairy is the fact that the cows are forcibly impregnated so that they can produce milk and then the, the babies are taken away. If your parents cooked you dog meat, would you eat it? No. No. <laughs> no. no. So uh, do you think there's a moral difference between like a dog and a pig or a cow? Or, no, but no. society, no. I mean, obviously that's... Yeah, there's a societal difference. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot different. If dog tasted good, would you eat it? Probably not, just because I have dogs. Yeah. yeah. But again, I, you know, I've... But you recognize that there's not like a moral difference between cows and dogs, or do you think there is? You know, I, <laughs> that's a great question. I don't, I would, I would argue that there's a moral difference, but I may not have a good argument for it. Well, I would love to hear it because no one's ever made, made a good case for it. Well, I'm worried that if I make the moral argument that it'll be wrong and that it'll be a good clip to use. Do you think that culture should determine like how we behave? Like, is that a good measure? Like, should we not respect or like, what do you mean? Um, I guess I mean like if something's cultural, does that mean it's the right thing to do just because it's cultural? Oh. Oh. Well, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The pleasure you get from the taste, does that justify what the animal goes through? No. Why not? But I'm, I am me, and I am in a shoot as a human, and I'm like, ah, here I am. What do you think is more important, convenience or animals' lives? <laughs> Well, I would say animals' lives, but I don't yeah. think my life shows that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Same. What do you think is more important, taste pleasure or the life of an animal? I would say, I would say they, they are equally important in the sense that they probably fall under the threshold of what I would consider like nominally important. Do you know anything about the connection between pandemics and animal agriculture? Oh, I don't, but I... Oh, I'm going to go on record and say I like the pandemic because Mother Nature said stop it. 75% of new diseases jump from animals to humans. So scientists have said if you want to create a pandemic, the best thing to do is to design a factory farm. What do you think about that? I, I, to be honest, I don't know. I mean, I, it's kind of interesting. It's an interesting thought. Yeah. But, I mean, will it stop me from eating a cheeseburger? Do you... it, it, it makes me think. Uh, maybe a little bit longer, yeah. but I'm yeah. probably still going to order it. I really, truly, like, if I could cut out meat, I would, because I... I think you can. <laughs> I'm, okay, you're right. I can. I can. No, no, I, no, just, I, I say that to encourage you, because, like, I didn't think I could. I'm, like, so lazy. Like, uh, <laughs> I did laundry on Thursday, and my clothes are still in the dryer. Yeah. It's yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Like, I'm super lazy. So, like, I, yeah, I thought vegans had this weird, like, amount of self-discipline, and it, it, it's not true. Like, would you ever see yourself going vegan in the future? Um, really? yeah. Like, I go on and off vegan. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. And uh, the other thing that's really exciting now is that they've kind of isolated, uh, I forget what it is, some, some part of dairy. And they're creating, like, they already have ice cream that's animal free dairy. They have whey that's animal free dairy. I think the cheese will be within the next year or two. Hurry up and show. <laughs> but yeah, I can give you a couple of my favorite brands of vegan cheese. Sharp cheddar? Miyoko's has some sharp cheddar. It's really good. Oh. Do you have any good arguments against veganism? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you could push a button and the entire world would go vegan overnight, including your husband, and he would be happy about it, <laughs> would you press it? He did. <laughs> yeah. One of my good friends is vegan, and I'm like, I talk about it, and I'm like, I would like to try it because it just, 
I don't love obviously the cruelty part, but also like even like cooking it, I don't like when I see like the blood and I, yeah. So a lot of it, I'm like I would rather. It's so die. weird when you think about it. Like now that I'm vegan, I'm like, whoa! I used to eat like corpses. <laughs> like it's so weird, yeah. you know. Yeah, so you guys see yourself going vegan in the future? Like, if you tried it, maybe found that it was easier than you thought or something? I, I would definitely I try it. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would go I fully vegan, but I definitely vegan. think I could make a ton of changes. And Thank you for watching today. If you want to see the rest of this conversation where we talk about protein, cooking tofu, animal sanctuaries, and more, please become a patron today.